I'm over from the Amex Stadium, and here's the good news. The rain has stayed away. It's a clear night in this part of England. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Burnley. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. The team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, in this formation, the wide centre-backs need to be good all-round players, both in possession and defensively. They have to defend the box and also get out into the wide areas to cover the wing-backs. And this is the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pope gets the nod between the bursts. Ben Mee plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Thank you, the Amex Stadium. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Good physical play. Cucurella. Lalana. On the ball, Cucurella. Mope. Can they put it away? Well, no damage done. Wout Weghorst. Oh, he's given the ball away. Lennon. Weghorst. And the keeper more than equal to it. And now the delivery. And they deal with the threat this time. Lennon. Now he must favour the cross. Lennon. Terrific block. And there's the delivery. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Veghorst plays it back. Tarkovsky, tremendous block. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. This to make it 1-0. In it goes! A well-taken penalty! Yeah. 
Well, here it is again. Great composure to send the keeper the wrong way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent penalty. Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Cucurella. Now Lalana. And that was a very fine read being pressed and pressed high well the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick Gross and here's Lalana a goal! real excitement a back and forth type of game now they're level Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So back underway. They've leveled it at 1 1 here. the perfect position to read it oh in with a chance really sound goalkeeping well that had to be a goal didn't it what a stop that is delivering it and a little too close to the keeper in the end Josh Brownhill. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Not the pass he had in mind. Well back. Well, it's one pass after another. Pascal Gross. Excellent challenge. Roberts. And he read it well. Pascal Gross. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. Welbeck. Well, possibilities inside the box. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. And do they mean business on this occasion? Westwood. Lennon. Beghorst. Precise ball movement. Peters can he convert well good clean catch by the keeper well as you can see from those stats they're just not creating enough they need to play at a quicker tempo get the ball into the danger area and get more players in the box make the opposition have to defend it and a strong tackle good physical play tremendous intuition to win it back well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Neil Mopé. On to Gross. Well, no stopping him. 
A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Pascal Gross. On the ball, Cucurella. And a poor ball. Josh Brownhill. Rodriguez with it. Lennon. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Did well to win the ball back. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. He's going forward well here. Mope. And just the header that was required. The goal they were in search of. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, but the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Westwood. Roberts. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Substitution time it is. Number 17, Aaron Lennon, to be replaced by number 11, Dwight McNeil. Dunk. Westwood. Rodriguez. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Well back. Excellent defending. Westwood. McNeil. And it's Connor Roberts. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Number 19, Jay Rodriguez, to be replaced by 
number 10, Ashley Barnes. Who can they pick out? Just made sure nothing came of that. Well, pressure building, another corner. If there's John Scott in the stadium, can you please make yourself known to the nearest steward? Thank you. And over it comes. The outcome is a goal kick here. Rossard. Cucurella. Neil Mopé. Keeping it moving dynamically. Is this the moment? Excellent block. McNeil. It's with Barnes. Eric Peters. Are getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. He has time to play it over. However, a well thought out piece of defending. Promising sequence, but quick thinking defensively. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. These supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. Not showing good defensive judgment. Tarkovsky. Josh Brownhill. Eric Peters. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Well, visionary passing. Bisuma. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Magnificent defending. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. And there goes the final whistle. Victory for Brighton and Hove Albion. They get maximum points. How would you sum it up? Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.